everyone doing well? This is the first edition of Hero Chat. I'm here with my good friend and colleague, Crap, uh, Craig. What we're going to be doing, I'm going to be asking him 12 questions and seeing as it's Valentine's Day, we'll, do, we'll have a bit of love in there as well. So happy Valentine's Day. Have you got anything nice for, uh, for the wife? Me? Every morning is Valentine's Day. Nice. So that's a no. What did you get, Steph? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you something later, Steph. Sorry. Question one. What do you love about exercise? What do I love about exercise? Yeah. Uh, challenge. It's a good challenge. The feeling and I mean obviously if you're working, working out with someone it's just that banter isn't it, training and pushing. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, definitely doing it with people I think, it's, I think it's awesome, you feel like you achieve more. Yeah, I think yeah. when you've got like a bit of fog on the brain or you feel a little bit under, a little bit under you, you know, just, just, just helps you think straight. Mm. So even if, even if you're not even putting a full shift in, I think if you're in the gym or if you're out running or walking or something, just, it does help clear your mind yeah. instead of just being static and just getting wound up. So yeah, exercise overall, happiness. Yeah, get moving. From question number two, who were your role models growing up as a kid? He man <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Legend. I like, I like that, yeah. Um, it's a good one. Who else role models as a kid? Tough one. Yeah, I mean, back in the late 80s, early 90s, like anyone on the spot. Anyone, yeah. Anyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd say it works since they're in there, you know, attitude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Put you on the spot. Oh, I mean, in, in terms of, I mean, I'm not, I don't really watch it more. Wrestling, Old Warrior, Texas Tornado, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, yeah. yeah. I mean, he was. Yeah. You know, in terms of thinking about body type, strength. He was a, I think mean, he yeah. was the first person wrestler I like noticed. Like Jesus Christ sized him. Yeah. But I think Goldman for me actually, I mean role model, I mean he's not he's, 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 he's fictional, but any Rocky movie, I think when you want to get back in the zone in the room, for me, my go to role model would be Rocky Four. Yeah. Okay. So Yeah, I'll let that. That's a good show. Yeah. Good luck. Question three, what do you love to do in your free time? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what you like to do, but let's keep, <laughs> let's keep it uh, clean. Free time, I think, I think free time is spending stuff with the family, you know, chilling out with my daughter and my wife. But uh, again, I mean, it's, it's going, to, going to, just like going to the gym, especially now, so on a steam room, how you throw pool. Yeah. yeah, and then when the good weather gets out, out in the day, man. Mm. So, what do you like doing with your family on a typical, on a typical, typical you know, weekend? Typical weekend for us, it's like you know we do love to watch a movie together, board games. One of our best games we do like play is Frustration. We've just got into Cluedo, which is a really good game. Um, Fallout, Monopoly, and Scrabble. So yes, yeah, it's, it's just that stuff where you're together. Yeah. Question four. <laughs> What was the best day of your life and why? <laughs> the best day of my life? Not including meeting me. Oh god. I mean, but obviously the best day of my life, meeting my wife and then... Brownie points. Yeah, and then obviously when my daughter came into the world, she put everything in perspective in terms of you have to grow up, but yep. every little thing that you do all the time is significant when you see them do it for the first time. So... That's Good answer, I like that. Yeah, yeah. But Calvin Case, 100% puts everything in respect. You know what I mean? Good. I mean, when do you ever get happy about, you know, your child wiping the bum for, for the first time and flushing the toilet, you're like, come on! So, yeah. Yeah, stuff like that, it's, it's all good. Yeah. What movie do you love the most? Do you know, I mean, yeah, Rocky IV is up there, but I do like a, a good war movie. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know, I mean, it, it's 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 probably like it's just see, especially if it's, if there's some relevance of true in it, it's it's like the same Private Ryan, yeah. 
like Fury, awesome. stuff like that, you know, where you see people go above and beyond, male and female, enemy of the gate, stuff like that, but, yeah. and then, you know, flip side of it, um, what else is a good film? You like chick flicks, don't you? Yeah, so, Chocolat with, uh, <coughs> what's it called? Uh, oh God, I forgot his name now. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> good film, though. Um, yeah, because I think anything that's just fun, really, as well, so. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Cool. Big, I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> New trailers out today, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, tell me Can't wait. Question six. What What do you love eating the most? Do you know, I think for me, it'd be a mixed grill. Done right, mm -hmm. mixed grill. Yeah. You know, so. Sorry, veggies. I and, no, do you know what? And, but thinking veggie wise, um, you know, the Linda McCartney um, mozzarella veggie burgers. Yeah, they're yeah, right. And mm. the veggie, was it Welsh, Welsh rabbit that I had on the weekend that I made? That was banging. Okay. But overall, mixed grill. I agree. What do you love the most about working at Odyssey? Uh, I don't know. Pressure. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think? It's, it's the style in which we work. I think it's, it's you know, it's, I don't know, it's, it's one of them, I think, constant ideas, there's no, like, you can just, we can, we are not pen, in. Yeah, we're not penned in, you know, I think even though, like I said, we utilise the time we've got, but we, we also have that time with our families, but mm. I think it's just the character, I think coming to work just having that, it's like, it's, it's not like coming to work really, it's nice to train people. Who want who want to make a difference and we yeah. all like athletes. It's just it's just not. Yeah, it's just great seeing people just achieve and like overcome stuff that they didn't think they can do. And you're there for it as well. So 100%. and I think it's I think that, you know the fitness world is the movement that's going to help people overcome certain issues around mental well being, like obesity, illnesses. Yeah. I mean, it's just getting people moving. Yeah, being the first step then. Yeah, being in the first wave, so it's, yeah, class. And obviously, get to work my um What do you love about the great outdoors? Space. Space. I mean, it's anything, there's so much out there that even living in the UK that you haven't seen, so it's nice when obviously it's, when it warms up and you get out and you just don't feel hemmed in. Yeah. I think you've got that freedom and, and it just, just depends what sort of character you are, what imagination you've got that you can mm -hmm. you can just yeah. you can do as, as little or as much as you want outdoors really, but either way you still feel pretty chill and pretty good about that. You know when you've been outside and you're a bit windswept, you do feel good. Yeah. And you can yeah, feel like you've achieved something. So yeah. where I think when you're indoors, you know you're indoors, like on a day like today when it's raining outside, like, yeah. yeah. So it's free as well. Spray. It's not, you don't have to pay to go outside. And as a, as a kid, obviously that's where all your adventures started, you know, so yeah. mm -hmm. a little bit of risk. Question nine. Question nine? Yeah. What is your funniest memory? Again, we need to keep this clean. Funniest memory? Oh, man. I think, the thing is though, I think like, you have that many and you, you you know what um, happened and it's hard to sort of, you know, obviously there's, there's been times on Rupert Tours seeing stuff happen and, but I think the funniest one, I think, I think personally, it's been there in the moment, you know, I think when you try and tell a funny story, you know it's funny for some of us. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah so. I've been aware. Yeah. That's quite a difficult question, man. Yeah, I mean, I've got a few. I think my funniest man. I'd say my, one of my funniest memories in probably of us and you is, is the rugby tour and your smelly horn. Yeah, Viking horn. had a Viking horn that didn't get washed. Literally didn't get washed, yeah. The weekend. Yeah. And um, everyone drank out of. Mm, yeah. I was drinking cider out of it, don't like cider. <laughs> I don't like smelly horns. <laughs> <laughs> Tea, beer. Anything. Yeah, yeah. No that shit. was so funny. A couple of serious ones. What is the biggest challenge you have overcome? Mm. 
Please sounds all cool, perfect. I mean, it's so much I'd say, but um, you know, I think when my mental health went downhill, I mean, I'm as clear as day, like 2016, and uh, like I said, Sam, like close friend I was working with, he recognised it more than me, and I just put myself under the cosh. I was taking everything personally, didn't feel I was good enough, mm -hmm. but I was constantly like, pushing against the grain, but it was just destroying me. And um, yeah, I just, I think. It was one of them where, yeah, it was. How did you come out with it? I mean, I came out with it, and I think it was, it was, it was just like burnout. Uh, did I learn anything? I mean, the sad thing is, I didn't learn anything the first time out because it was like you just sort of put on leave. So you, you even though you, even though you're not well, and you need people around you or something to do. Like put in place to help. Yeah, just I just, I was on my own. I mean, it, it relieved some of the pressure, but I felt the anxiety about returning. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I think the second time when I sort of getting back in, into the uh, the affair, I utilised, I mean, going to the gym. And I think the biggest thing was like you said, being out. I wasn't like smashing the gym, but it was just, just uh, going and, and out walking, taking my daughter to school, yeah. picking her up, stuff like that. It was, it was, Luckily enough, the time of year that so my brain crash was in and around the summer, so, so you could get yeah, out and just and again like big sport for my wife and stuff like that. But getting out, being active, feeling useful, making myself useful, and I mean in that as well, I taught myself like you know I mean I'm not great but bought a welder, learned the weld, started obviously uh, getting interested in making stuff. I felt like in terms yeah. of missing jigsaw pieces for me was like being able to make something. To me, to feel like I was useful. Yeah. So I got into yeah. all sorts. So nice. yes. Yeah. yeah, you made my, I made you made my uh, little bar outside for me. Well, mm -hmm. that's class. Still need time to write. Yeah. So we've sort of touched on it in the last one a little bit, but what advice would you give someone who is in a dark place right now? I think do you know sometimes just letting people help you and support you. You know, don't be afraid to think that you have to do it all yourself, but what you need to think about is how you're gonna be sort of stronger and, and, and like a better version of you to deal with yeah. future crises. So you know, like, but yeah, I mean, planning, planning your weeks ahead. So if you are going off on leave for whatever, I think it's it's having a it's having a work week planned out for yourself so you feel useful, and making yourself useful. Having a bit of structure. Yeah, and do you know what? If you need to, have a cry, but you know. Reach out to speak to your friends. I mean, mm. we do it, you know, yeah. and and it does help because sometimes you, what you do is you visual, like you sort of have these pretend conversations in your head, and, and you you have like a situation that isn't actually hasn't happened, mm. but you you imagine it. So yeah. when you come into work and you offload, it's like oh, that didn't happen. So I think again, just reaching out, talking, talking, and you are useful. You are a good person. You can do stuff. It's hard to say that, but sometimes I think the best thing you can do is throw yourself into a challenge. Yeah. So, like, if you if you haven't, if you if you think you can't run a marathon, or not, do it. Just yeah, do it. You don't want to be here. Yeah. yeah, just get out, do something, and just go for it. Because and, and, and surround yourself with positive people. Get yourself off social media and yeah. start living like old school. You know, go 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 cold on that, and then just. Yeah, you know, so focus on you a bit more. Yeah, I think I wish I had someone the first time to say, like, you know, push me in a direction that, that made me feel useful, made me feel I could do stuff myself. But again, like, just being able to talk and not being afraid and, and ashamed, really. So. Last one if you had three wishes, what would they be? Three uh, wishes, what would they be? Um, I think one. I think I'd like to live in a sunny climate. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, I'm not saying like you know. I think the freedom to travel to any country. Yeah, awesome. And uh, the third one.
everlasting happiness. Yeah. It's not cheesy like that. Yeah. Uh, third, do you know what my third would be? Houseboat. Houseboat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd, something calming about know, being on a canal or, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm more like small confined than large spaces. Cool. And then I've got freedom to come and go as well. <clears throat> so, yeah, cool. Awesome. Right, cheers, mate. Thanks for that. Much, mate. Yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. First edition, we'll be doing a few of these, so don't forget to check them out. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We really, really appreciate your support. And we hope you have an awesome day. See you soon.